This video is brought to you by the supporters on Patreon. Hi guys, I'm here with a video showing you how I connect bevels to one another. So if you don't know what a bevel is, this is what it looks like. It is like a triangular cut of EVA foam. As you can see from this edge, it is a triangle. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in half. This is what the two halves look like now that I've cut it in half. If you want to connect two sections of bevel directly to one another, like this, you can totally do that. However, what I'm talking about in this video is more trying to attach them at angles so that they either come into a point or that they can fit into a corner like I needed them to do on my Toronto cosplay quite often. I'm also going to talk about how to connect them when they need to like come off of one another like maybe you have like an edging but then like a swirl needs to come off of it. I'm going to be showing you how to do that as well but we'll start with needing them to come to a point or squeeze into a corner and obviously as you can see here just taking two pieces of bevel and trying to fit them together isn't going to work. Like this doesn't look nice, this doesn't look good, there's a gap in between the foam going on here. Let me hold it up to the side so maybe you can see that gap a little bit better. You can't just like stick them together like this and if you stick them together like this there's going to be a lot of tension on the glue and it might come undone. If you want to connect them to a corner, you need to cut both pieces at an angle and they need to be at opposite angles so that they form together. That means on this one, since it's on this side, I need to cut it at an angle like this and just cut that off. Let me draw like a make-believe point real quick. We're going to say that's the corner I need to fit it into. So since this edge is going along that side of the thing, it needs to be cut at a corner so that this edge stays the longest and then this edge can have like be the shortest to create an angle. Obviously that's not enough. Now there's a bigger gap. So what you need to do with this one is you need to cut it at an opposite angle to try your best to match and fill in the angle that it has here. So I'm going to take a pair of scissors again and cut an angle like this into the foam. And now we have two angled pieces and they can connect to one another. Again, the edge that's on the outside needs to be the longest and then from there you can cut inwards to fit into a point. And this fits into a corner. It also comes to a point. If this is like a dip and like a chess piece, this can fit here. If this is a corner in a chess piece, uh, it can also fit there. Basically, you just want to cut angles so that the two pieces, when glued together, will flow into one another like this top edge is going to line up with the top edge on the other bevel. This is what you want to typically line up with one another because then it makes it look like it's one whole piece. Sometimes you need to trim a little bit more or a little bit less off like this one. I trimmed a little bit too much off of. So we can just go ahead and cut an angle like that. And there, now it lines up much better than it previously was. Yeah, this is what they look like from the side when they're connected at a corner and from underneath. Basically, you want to make sure you're cutting off an even amount on both bevels. So if this one has a very minimal angle, then you want this one to have a very minimal angle. How big of angles you need basically is like how big of a corner or a point or how small of one it needs to come to or fit into. Basically, for something like this, a minimal angle is good enough because it's a pretty wide corner. However, if it needed to fit into something, say like this, something much smaller, you would need to cut a much more drastic angle off of the two. 
again and now if it's better I'd obviously trim off a little bit of excess but this is just for demonstration basically to figure out the angle of your bevel an easy way to figure out like how you need how much you need to cut off of each angle is to line up your bevel so that this edge lines up with the very tip and then just cut down these what would be like the center of the corner so if you were to draw like a line right down the center of this corner you would cut following that line that we just drew off that angle and that's going to make each bevel fit into this piece it doesn't need to be exact because foam is pretty flexible and you can kind of like bend and shape them into each other a little bit but this is pretty much what you're trying to aim for. I usually don't need to draw lines, it's just something you kind of want to eyeball, but if you feel better drawing, uh, like holding it up and then drawing a line across the top of your bevel, you're totally free to do that. I have a camera blocking my view, so sorry if this isn't exact. It's kind of hard to line up, but basically something like that. And then I know to hold my scissors like this and cut it off. And bam, it lines up directly with this center line. And, and so that's basically your goal. This is how you're going to get it to fit into those tight little corners or the larger corners and shape around pointed edges. Now we're going to talk about what happens if you need to connect a piece kind of just in the center of a bevel. So what you need to do is you need to cut your bevel so that it matches the slope of this bevel. Again, it doesn't need to be 100% exact. Foam is kind of flexible. You just need to cut at a similar angle that your bevel is cut at. And where you cut is going downwards. You want to cut so that the top edge of your bevel is facing up, obviously, and then you want to cut down at a slope like this so that it matches the angle. And that's what I'm going to cut off real quick so I can show you what it does. You just take this pair of scissors, cut it off. Now the foam's at an angle going downward, so the top point is the farthest out, and the two bottom points are the like are farther back. And that means when you connect your bevels, they'll now connect like this. They'll kind of like blend into one another. Again, this top edge now lines up with this top edge and they flow into each other, and it looks like it's one oddly shaped bevel that was built that way. <laughs> this is what it looks like from the side. That is pretty much it for this one. So just another quick recap. To get your bevels to fit into corners, you want to line up the outer edge with the center point. Draw a line that would go straight down the center of the corner and then cut that off and then do the same with the other side and you should have two bevels that are cut at two angles at either end in opposite directions so that they come together and make one nice bevel like this. And just cutting the ends at larger or smaller angles is going to get them to fit into larger and smaller corners. And then to connect bevels just kind of randomly somewhere in the middle of another bevel, you just cut them, cut off like the bottom section at an angle so that the top is the longest point and the bottom is the shortest point and the slope of this angle pretty much matches the slope of your bevel again like i said it doesn't need to be exact because foam is pretty flexible and bendable and with a little bit of glue and maybe some heat they should fit and what you want to avoid is just straight cuts like this because this is never going to blend with anything else. So these are just some do's and don'ts about connecting bevels to one another. Hopefully this guy, this has explained it thoroughly enough. I tried to be pretty thorough and hopefully all this made sense and you learned something new and will find it useful in your future cosplay ventures. Thanks for watching guys. Have a lovely day and bye.